Right, good morning, everyone. Okay, so before to start, you know, I uh, just wanted to introduce uh, yourself. Can you please introduce yourself? I just want to need your uh, name. If you're working professional, your uh, no for repairs experience and which company you're working with currently and where do you want to join Excel classes? Yeah. So can you start off? First, let's uh, discuss for offline participants, then we will go with online participants. You name your number of years experience and then which company you're working with currently and why do you want to join Excel classes? Who wants to come first? Who will take this initiative? Yes, please. So I'm waiting for some Okay. Like basically you're working more into Excel only there in your, in your office or like uh, manually. So correct, correct. Definitely, definitely. Like, uh, as part of this course, we are going to cover basic to advanced level. It's not like that, you know, directly uh, we will learn advanced Excel. No, we'll start from the scratch. So don't you worry. Yeah. Satish. Yeah, no, Satish. Okay. Okay. And how how will you manage yourself since you're working in Air Force? So like only okay. So definitely this uh, class will take uh, twenty to twenty two pages. Are you okay with this duration? Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you. Definitely, Hamlada. So, if you're looking for MIS, then uh, apart from advanced Excel, we are also teaching this, teaching here as a Power Pack, Power Pack, which include the SQL and Power BI also. So, if you're okay with Power Pack, you can get in touch with front office team. They will teach you. So, apart from advanced Excel, like uh, SQL and Power BI. You might have heard about SQL and Power BI also, right? We will also discuss that part as part of our site. Yeah. Neither. Neither. Okay. This is not IT. I might just kind of things like you know, data analytics. Got it, got it. Venu, Satish, Himlata, and Vira. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much for introduction. Uh, 
Sorry. We will discuss that. Okay. Uh, online participants, can you please uh, go ahead with the introduction? <clears throat> your name, uh, if you're working professional, your uh, number of years of experience and which company and why do you want to join Excel classes? Anyone, can we start? I see Muti Krishna, Ashish, Archana, Harish. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi, sir. I'm Napier Murli Krishna. I'm in the six years in the FSP. Can you speak Hindi or English? I don't understand Telugu, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sir, this is Murli Krishna. <laughs> I'm working, working as as a senior executive at FHPL, <laughs> Family Health Plan TPA Private Limited. Okay. Uh, actually, as a partially MI6 executive, not fully uh, partially. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to learn uh, advanced Excel uh, depth. Only some, some formulas we are using only. We look mm -hmm. up. And determine proper and date format age for age form only some formulas we are using daily okay definitely definitely Muli krishna we will discuss uh, and in fact as i mentioned earlier we start from the scratch and uh, whatever is the requirement is there definitely uh, that will fulfill as part of our content yep thank okay. you yeah thank you thanks Next, please. Hi, sir. Myself, Harish. Hi, Harish. Uh, actually, I have a total uh, six and a half years experience as a warehouse manager. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm looking like complete Excel, like uh, uh, making the reports and uh, data analysis. So that's why I'm choosing. Okay, Harish. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. In fact, uh, regarding data analytics, uh, we we'll also cover the power pack uh, highlights in this demo session. Like, what is power pack? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Myself, Archana. Um, I'm from Bangalore. I have one year experience as an associate in Black Pack. It's a product based company. Mm -hmm. So, I want to learn advanced Excel. So, I want to. Okay. Thank you. Sure, sure, Rachna. Thank you so much for the introduction. Next, please. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. My name is Ramal Kumar. I work for, for uh, MedConverged uh, Healthcare Service Private Limited in Dubai Hills. Mm -hmm. I am looking forward to work on uh, this uh, uh, Power BI. So I, I thought it would be an added advantage to join the advanced Excel class. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, in fact, you know, before uh, going for uh, SQL and Power BI, definitely first I think we should learn advanced Excel because there are a uh, few things which are related to advanced Excel. Only. If you are good in advanced Excel, then it will be easy for you to understand the SQL and Power BI. Yes. That's a good choice. Yeah. Thank you, Rahul. Next, please. Hello, no. I see Deepthi and someone has joined uh, from Realme C21. C21Y. Vinay also, I see. Vinay, we can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay, I see Deepthi as well. Deepthi and who has joined with this name, Realme C21Y.
Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for introduction. I think a few guys might be not okay to introduce yourself. That's also fine. <laughs> so let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Samur Kumawat. Basically, I'm from Jaipur, Rajasthan. I did my schooling. I did my college from Jaipur only. Jaipur, Rajasthan, and I started my journey in 2007 with Genpact. So I was there in M&A team, finance and accounts. I used to manage uh, travel and expense and uh, accounts payable team over here. I worked with Genpact for five years. After that, I switched to IBM Gurgaon. So in Gurgaon, uh, I worked with Gurgaon for two years. I was part of uh, not only in IBM, uh, in Genpact also, I used to give training in Excel. Then uh, basically, completely not in trainings. I am also into operations. So both training and operations, I'm looking into it. So and training people is my passion. Like whenever I'm giving training, like let's say definitely, if you are giving the training on some particular subject, definitely you will learn more. Right? Yes, or no? <laughs> yes, that's my passion actually. So. With IBM, I was there for two years. I also had an on-site uh, <clears throat> opportunity. I went to Australia, New Zealand for transition. I took training from there and then I trained people in India, not in Excel, on my core subject, accounting. So I went there, I, I, was, I was there for 45 days in single country, Australia and New Zealand. And then uh, I switched to Cognizant Hyderabad, 2014. I'm in Hyderabad for the last seven to eight years. And uh, 2021 December, I left Cognizant also. Now I'm working with different companies as a manager and looking into operations. Uh, that's into accounts payable, general ledger, travel and expense. You know, travel and expense, team profile, employer investments, right? That profile, as well as I'm also giving training in advanced Excel. And here also I've joined as a trainer. So here also I'm giving the training as a part time trainer. This is all about me. In brief, overall, I am carrying 15 years experience. It's all into operations as well as training. Any questions for me? The name is Saur, S A N W A R. Saur. It's very difficult to pronounce my name. <laughs> People, they are calling S A N. And it's silent my name. So yeah, you'll come to know me. When I'll, I'll, I'll show my name to you on the screen, then might be you will get it. Two people they don't understand me in first row. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, begin the session. First, we'll start like about the company profile, and then uh, in the last uh, half an hour and forty-five minutes. In the last forty-five minutes and uh, uh, thirty minutes, I will take you through a few the topics. Okay. But before that, let me introduce uh, ISMA and Excelatic Institute. Yeah. It's one stop solution for training and business consultation. Like uh, we are covering so many trainings uh, here, uh, so many courses here. That also we will be covering as part of the successful slides. Okay. So, about us, uh, we started our journey in 2014. We are ISO 9001 2020 certified uh, dedicated data analytics training institute in Amirpet in Hyderabad. We have uh, facilitated around 5,000 Microsoft certifications so far. I think now we are more than this, might be 6, 6K plus now. Look at this old data. And uh, we also have uh, corporate tie ups with several leading organizations. That also I'll show you in succeeding slides. We have 30K plus LinkedIn connections. And uh, our team is highly motivated by Microsoft certified trainers from the trainers, they are working from Microsoft. So mostly they are very well versed with the real-time cases, real-time scenarios. Yep. We have trained about uh, 20,000 professionals since 2014. And rank-wise, I think you guys already know about athletics might be you, you guys have joined because of our interest. Yes, just I or might be in Google reviews, right? So yeah, you can go ahead and you can also check with our uh, rank in just I and Google reviews, ranked topmost training institute by Urban Pro under educational institute category. 
and uh, our services we are providing our services course offered advanced excel bbo macros sql power bi ms access python tableau power apps data apps science sap fico business analyst sap automation yeah certifications we are providing uh, as part of mos nothing but uh, microsoft excel specialist so once you complete your advanced excel classes here and if you also want to go for mos that is microsoft office specialist certification from microsoft for that also there will be an exam online exam will be there that you have to crack and whatever content we are going to show you in this class the content will be definitely you know we can trust assure that yes you can crack that uh, exam because whatever content we are showing that will be that one i'll show you like this is kind of mos certificate and for this once you are done with your uh, course advanced excel course then you can uh, go with this this is an online uh, online certificate exam for this you have to pay to directly microsoft and then you can write this exam this will be useful like once you are done with this with your course definitely you know, it will have more benefits to the profile while you can add into your profile that i am microsoft specialist certified specialist mos or you can uh, give this into your linkedin profile not to the and definitely if you are done with this uh, advanced excel classes that will be have more benefits to the and not only this uh, apart from this from our side excellent so we are also providing certificates like certificate like this this is for both advanced excel and macros so let's say if you are only for advanced excel then it will be for advanced excel yeah this will be there will be no cost for this whatever uh, fee you have paid for advanced excel that will be included in the certificate but if you want to really go for with the uh, mos then yeah this will be the paid certificate Apart from your fee for the certification, you have to pay. Yeah, only for advanced Excel. If you are for or also aiming for Power Pack, I'll discuss the Power Pack as well in succeeding slides. Power Pack, the certificate is free. It's included there. But in Power Pack, there are three courses. One is SQL, Power BI, and Advanced Excel. That also will discuss it in such. for advanced excel 20 to 22 days and same with macros yeah i'll discuss that. okay and then yeah so weapon certificate what is weapon certificate that also i'll discuss in succeeding slides analytical power pack i'll discuss this one Power BI also we are giving training. PM certification we are providing. Business analyst certification we are providing. SAP certification we are providing. Consulting solutions based on Excel reporting. If uh, you know someone someone has some you know, projects kind of things, we are also providing our assistance. Let's assume you are running your company and you need some assistance based on your data. So yeah, on that also we are providing our services to them. Not only training but uh, consulting services also. Like if you want to how if you want to complete your project then and if you're getting stuck somewhere then yeah you can also consult with us and uh, we can also help you with that. Okay, we have macros automation, dashboard and templates, visual analytics, MS Access projects, automation, SAP automation, web web scrapping, recruitment consulting, analytics consulting. Uh, move to next slide. Uh, training highlights. So now, now we are partner with colleagues and corporate groups. Sorry, colleges. And uh, what kind of training we are providing here is offline and online both. You want to join offline? You can come to student. You can join. And uh, maybe some due to emergency, if you can't join it. Offline, then you can join it online from here. Yeah. 
and uh, provide training and backup sessions also. Once the training is complete for the day, within one, half an hour, you will get the uh, video link, recorded video, like whatever now I'm going to share on the screen, that is also being recorded. Can you see here? So once we are done with the session, after or uh, within one hour, you will get the video link that will be uploaded to YouTube and you will be given the access to it. In case if you uh, missed the class for the particular day, then you can go with the video. And the next day you'll be ready for it. Yeah, that's what you were asking. Okay, post training support. If training is completed uh, for the for the day or might be after completing twenty two days also, if you need any assistance, you can call us. You can reach out to us. We'll definitely assist you. Okay. In terms of your requirement, provide real time project assistance. I'll show you, like, you know, what kind of projects you, like we have here. And uh, real time projects, uh, not only the content after completing the advanced Excel, we also provide you the real time projects. There, I like, will show you, like, you know, how we have prepared dashboards and everything. That also I'll show you. Support with interview questions. What kind of questions can be asked? If you have chosen for Power Pack, then we will assist you regarding uh, SQL questions, Power Pack questions, and that way. Only for advanced Excel, on that part also, we'll be sharing the questions and we'll support you with those questions. Provide placements or placement assistance. So, Power Pack. Power Pack is nothing but like uh, it includes three courses. One is Advanced Excel, second SQL, and third Power BI. Total duration is 80 hours. 22 hours for Excel, 16 hours for SQL, and uh, rest of the hours for Power BI. Advanced Excel, SQL, and Power BI, and placement assistance as well. Placement assistance, we can help you with the questions, what kind of questions can be asked, okay? So that you'll be ready for the interview. We can also uh, you know, refer you with the companies, but you have to clear the interview. That is your responsibility. If you've joined the power plant and but not, ex not doing exercise, we can't help you. That's correct, right? There's no pill, we can take it and then we are going for interview and I'll be part in interview. Not possible, right? For that, you need to practice and whatever content we are going to show you on the screen, you have to practice on those contents and definitely I can assure that yes, you can easily crack the interview. But content wise, whatever content we are having, if you can practice on that, then only it is possible. Otherwise, without practicing, sorry, not possible. You go to any institute. If someone is giving 100% job, job guarantee, I don't believe in that. Sorry. If you're not practicing at all, then how come? Right? Weapon. Weapon is, stands for Word Excel Access. Word Excel Access PowerPoint Outlook and Network. Soft skills. It's kind of entire MS Office. Not only Excel, entire MS Office course. Total duration 50 hours. Regarding fee structure and everything, you can get in touch with. But if you are aiming for the data analytics course, data most students they are uh, they are targeting for this power pack data analytics because in data analytics. Mainly, you'll be working in Advanced Excel, SQL, and Power BI. Mainly. And if you want to become a data scientist, for that you need to go with the machine learning, right? R learning, and uh, this one, Python, correct? For data science, data scientist. Data analytics, Power Pack is enough. Because first of all, you need to extract data how you can work on the formulas, right? 
then how you can extract data from the server that will be part of your SQL. How you can have visualizations. That visualization part will be part of your Power BI dashboard part. This is 90 minutes every day. Thank you. So why? As I mentioned that 22 days will be for your advanced Excel. That is nothing but it will be covering 30 hours. 16 hours will be SQL. 30 plus 16, 40. Remaining will be your Course offered already. I told you about advanced Excel. In advanced Excel, we will be discussing about data fundamentals. We will understand what kind of data we are having. What kind of data it is like number for number data type or text data type. What are the logicals? What are the array types? Everything we discuss, and we discuss from the scratch. Hundred plus Excel formulas we will be having. So if I talk about advanced Excel course content. You start from the scratch introduction to Excel. What is Excel and its complete history, basic terminology of Excel, spreadsheet environment and object model of Excel, different version of Excel, 2003, 2007, 10, 13, 16 and above, different file formats, clipboard group. This is part of basic Excel, clipboard group, font group, alignment, conditional formatting, Data types in Excel, number group, format as a table, cell style, cells, fill option, find and select advanced Excel in, as part of advanced Excel, Excel formulas, wherein we'll be discussing how more than 100 plus formulas. 100 plus formula we'll discuss. So few of them are already written here. Can you see here formulas? Few of them is already written there. Right? Formula introduction, we'll discuss about what is formula, syntax of the formula, right? What is the reference style, input types in formula, text function, date and time function, status quo formulas, information formula, lookup functions, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, index match, offset match, yeah? Filter options, advanced filter, calculation options. So this also will be sharing as part of your content, as part of study material, okay? As part of advanced Excel. Mm -hmm. Now, we will, yeah, it's an Excel, but uh, will your macro will be not part of your advanced Excel. That is also very different groups that you have to now we have macros means like you have to write your macros let's say let's assume if you are working on excel file you are extracting data from the code then you have to do some formatting like you have to delete some column apply some you know, like uh, formatting and everything every day is same steps you are and easily you can just record a macro and then you can run it your uh, 10 minutes job can be done with 10 seconds, right? That is part of your Excel order, Excel order. Okay. And then uh, review macros we have, that is 30 hours sessions, different training S12 for reporting and analytics, 18 hours, 30 hours Power BI, W, MS Access, SAP FICO, Business Analyst, Python, what are the benefits if you are done with your course? What the benefit you will get? Like as you ask this question, what is the benefit of the certificate? I asked one question for you. Why are you here today? Why are you why are you why you are here today in this institute and why do you want to learn Excel? Correct. If you're good in Excel, definitely you'll have more witness to your profile. Yes or no? That you can show in your profile, LinkedIn profile. You can also mention the rocket.com. Correct? Yes or no? 
And if you're good in Excel, then definitely not only uh, your profile will attach in your office also, if you're good in Excel, your team members, they'll reach out to you, they'll ask for the help. You'll have more visibility on the floor. Yes or no? Right? You get easily promotion. You'll have a good uh, visibility with the management team as well. If management team, they're working on some data, they'll call you, they'll ask for help. Yes or no? Yeah? Lots of visibility you have. If you, have, you can also add it into the CV. Yeah. You can mention that I am MSX, MSX certified, uh, uh, you know, like uh, MS Office specialist. Yeah. Yeah. Our partners, so we are also partnered with uh, these colleges. So we are providing sessions regularly. In these colleges, St. Mary, St. Joseph, Flint Finance Business School, Ethan, Amit University, Hyderabad, University of Hyderabad, at the center. I don't know. So if it, uh, in, within Hyderabad. And recently, we have got tie up with NI NMS College, Red Chella, Zomar College. Corporate clients, Dr. Reddy's. Real page, Tata projects, PNG. PNG, you know? Head and shoulder, shampoo, tied, right? <laughs> Products of PNG. You're working in office and your uh, organization, you're looking for an external trainer. So we are going there and we are teaching. So we are charging uh, two days wise or hour three days. What? Mr. Uh, Kishore Kumar is our CEO and founder of the institute. And by the way, he is a known IT background. He is an MB finance. He started this institute in 2014. And now, can you imagine what kind of courses he is teaching? Advanced Excel, SQL, Power BI, Power Apps. It's not like that. No, I can't learn Advanced Excel. I can't learn Macros. I can't learn SQL, Power BI. Because I am from finance background, I can't, can't learn it because it needs some coding also, Macros, right? It's not like that. But our CEO also, Sikishor Kumar, he is also known by the background. But he has proved it, right? Yeah. So Kishore is uh, our CEO and founder, and uh, he is an uh, expert in advanced Excel, your macros, SQL, Power BI. I mean, it's all into data analytics. He, is he has certification, including Microsoft's. Uh, certified professionals, MCP, six in my own belt, ISO 9000, QMS internal auditor, Deloitte faculty of excellence, and MCT, Microsoft certified trainer. <laughs> we also have other <laughs> trainers in our team. Yes, yes, we have three branches currently. Uh, that is head office, Amit Pit, Chikatpalli, we have one more branch, and the third is in two. Here we have a few testimonials from few of the our students. So they also got uh, trained from this institute and currently they are working in one is Straight Street and other one is in uh, HSBC. We have uh, also other testimonials as well in our Google videos you can find it. Reviews and ratings wise, I think I should not express this. You already have now. Still, you can go and check our Google reviews. If now it's close to 3,000 reviews in Google reviews. More than 4, 5K in our first time, right? Oh, 
Okay, and uh, yeah, we are there uh, on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, okay, WhatsApp group, Facebook, Rested Office, Amit Pete, KPHB Chikadpalli, and also in Osman University. So we are providing training there, right? That's all about company profiling. Any questions for me? Sorry. My name is Sawar Kumawat. S A N W A R. Any silent. Okay, so I'll go through with the few things today. How many of you can rate yourself out of 10, at least five? Raise your hand. Okay, so just asking for the rating. Yeah, that's what I'm asking for the rating, right? Out of 10, how much rating do you give yourself? Three. You? Right. Okay. Okay, online participants, if I ask you one question out of 10, how many rating you will give to yourself? You can write in your chat box or you can speak up, please. Three. Someone is saying three, okay. Guys, can just type in or can you speak up? Either one of them is fine. If you take more time, guys, to speak up and to write, then it will take time for you guys. Perfect. I see Madhuri two, Ashish two, so the three and two, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I ask you one question. What is the difference between basic and advanced level? Can you tell me? Basic Excel, advanced Excel, tell me. Sorry. If I ask you, give me a few things or let's say five things about basic. I'm writing here basic and advanced Excel. Here. You save the file in basic, okay? Then save card. Eight. Is okay. What else? Basic. Storage, sir. Storage of data. Storage of data. Okay. Storage. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ashish. Yeah. Tables. Okay, what about advanced Excel then? Just checking your thought process. How can you differentiate yourself? Shortcuts, okay. Okay. Formulas, sir. More formulas. Formulas, okay. What else? Dance. Events, the lookups, and other things. Okay. Presentations. Presentations, okay. Okay, so let's assume you have already worked in uh, these things in office formula, charts, pivots. Do you think it's advanced level? 
this or not? Because we have never ever worked these things. That's what we are thinking that it's such an advanced level. How to create charts, how to prepare payment tables, how to work in various types of formulas, we are not sure, right? And how formula works also, we don't know. Correct? That's what we are here. You're only differentiating basics, this one, and advanced is this one. Correct. So we are going to start from the basic to advanced level. Basic to advanced level. Directly, I'll not show you that. Today, we'll discuss pivot tables directly. We'll start from the scratch. Considering other participant as a fresher, okay, because might be most of you are working professionals, but in this group, we also will have few freshers as well. Considering those requirement, we'll start from the scratch. And it's good to start from the scratch. You can have a good command on the subject. Yes or no? If you do not know the three golden rules of accounting, right? Then we cannot pass the general entry. We cannot prepare general ledger. We cannot prepare trial balance. We can't prepare final accounts, right? Training final balance. It's not possible. If you are not aware about three golden rules of accounting, yes or no? Yeah. So today we are going to discuss few things. Let me take the data. Okay, here itself, I'll discuss. If I want to sort the data, okay, and I want to sort the data based on employee name. Is not employee name. Is it okay for you? You can come by this side. Is it okay? okay. For you? Ask you know, fine. Okay. So I want to sort the data based on employee name. I and I hope you know that what is sorting. Sorting option. What is sorting like A to Z, Z to A, right? One to hundred, hundred to one. One to hundred is ascending order. Descending is 100 to 1, right? And today is just a demo. It's not like that today is the first session now. So that's a demo. From tomorrow onwards, we'll start from the scratch, like as I mentioned that. Here, can you see these tabs? And I'll start from here. From tomorrow onwards. On tab, about training, about Excel. What is Excel? Why Excel? Strip spreadsheet. Who are the computer of Excel? Terminology of Excel. Object model of Excel. File types, extensions. Everything you discuss. Excel UI. What is title bar? Quick access toolbar. Events, groups, name box. Everything. Customized QAD. Keyboard shortcut list. Data types. Everything you discuss. You start from the scratch. You get just a demo. So I just want to sort the data based on employee name. It means first, whatever name starts with A, it should come first, yes or no? Ascending order, right? So now it, you need to tell me, how can I sort the data? Employee name, based on employee name. Alphabetical. So that Sorting is available into data tab. Is available into data tab. Can you see this option? So, you know, few people how they are sorting the data is they're selecting this column like this. Okay. And I want to see the names which starts first with A, D, A, B, C, D, E, F. But it's already sorted. Can you see here? A, D, H, and ending with W. In this case, I just want to sort employee ID. If I sort employee ID, let me just have it. Now, can you see one, two, 17? Now you tell me, I just want to sort employee name. Now, can you see the names like starts with S, K, S, V, R, D? It's not sorted, right? 
It's not sorted. That I want to sort. Employee name. What is uh, Suresh salary here? 60. What is Kaveri basic salary? Suresh 60, Kaveri 39. Just remember these two figures. If I'm sorting this data, then employee ID should be same for Suresh. Basic salary should be same for Suresh. HRA should be same for Suresh. Everything should be same for me, right? The only thing is the data will be shuffled. Usher is starting with name first A, that name will be showing first and then B, C, D like this. But it, that figure should not be shuffled. Right? Yes, figures are getting shuffled, then we are wrong. We are doing wrong. Yes or no? Few people, they are just sorting like this. They are selecting it, going with sort. Continue with current selection, sorting. Employee name, A to Z. Perfect. Can you see the names? A to A, D, H, J, 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 ending with W. But Suresh was getting that time which, how much salary? 60,000, basic salary. Can you find Suresh? If you are part of payroll team and uh, you're sending this data to bank, today is by the way 30th, right? Suresh will get the salary 2000. Right? Whosoever was their associate, that, that guy has become CEO now. That's part of the list. And whosoever was CEO in the list, that person has become now as associate. That is wrong, right? Yes or no? Yeah? We'll discuss, we'll discuss, we'll discuss that. Okay? It means that is wrong way of doing so. That is wrong way of doing so. Correct? I'll say, I'll say control Z again. Now, what is the salary of Suresh? I have applied control Z. Undo. Right? Yes. Control Z. Okay? So now, that is wrong way of doing it, sorting. If you want to sort the data, never ever select the column. And that's what I have shown here. Don't select cells like this. Yeah. Now, how will I do the sorting then? Simply put your cursor within the table like this go to sort and here I want to sort right select the employee name A to Z it okay can you see the names and can you see the Suresh salary now how much it is Kaveri 39 only right Kaveri 39 everything is working all together it's not like that yeah some data is missing here and there no is the correct way of doing the sorting option. Clear? I can also have a multi-level sorting. Let's assume I just want to sort the designation. Wherever I associate, that should come first. Then next, next, next. Here, can you see manager is here? One, two, Three, four, I want to club these all together. Right? Like whosoever is associated, that will be coming first as per the ascending order. Again, I'll go there, I'll select it. Guys, can you please go on mute if you're not speaking, please? Okay. Data sort. I want to have sorting based on designation. A to Z. I want to add one more level. That level is basic salary. First, do the sorting based on asset designation. Nothing but name starts with A, B, C, D. And then basic salary, largest to smallest. Largest to smallest. 
hit okay now can i say starts with a a c c d d and then ending with t so that now you see manager is here right in this manager who is getting more salary 35 the part 28 17 five first sorting was first level was designation and second level was is it salary that's how it's working do not look at here no you told us that it, it is largest to smallest that 85 should come here then remaining should be go down so 85 60 no two level sorting first level was this done and then it is assigning these values accordingly can you see managers largest to smallest can you see tester largest to smallest can you see db largest to Yeah. So I'm just doing sorting based on based on the values. Double level, triple level. Also, I can do it. I can add levels if you want to have. Okay. Not only this. If you right click here, you will find this option sort. Right? Let's assume I want to sort now employee ID. I'll put my cursor in a column employee ID. Right click and sorting. It should be A to Z. Can you see now? One, two, three, four. Yeah. If I say right click and sorting, Z to A. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, twenty. That is also possible. With the help of right click, also you can do it, or you can go into data and sort. That is also possible. Yeah. Well, the shortcuts we'll be discussing later. It is a demo only. So in detail, we'll discuss. Okay, now can you see here uh, some color coding is there, right? What is the cell color here? What is the font color here? This font color, not the cell color. What is the cell color? What is font color? We should be good with font. What is font? What is cell? Cell color is yellow. Font color is red. Yeah. So now I want to have sorting, and that sorting I want to know is first I want to see this blue one on the top, blue color, highlighted in blue. That should be on top. Then I want to see this brown, okay? Blue, brown, and yellow. That is my requirement. Only three requirement. First, I want to see blue, brown, and then yellow. Now, current. The current data is showing like which color is on top now? Red, right? I just take a pick of this. Snipping tool. So I will just sort this data. I'll put my cursor here again. Data sort. This is just a demo. This is everything later on. It's concentrated on the screen just now. Okay, sort, and I'll delete the levels. Add level. I can put on employee ID here. Employee ID. Cell values, no, not based on values, based on cell color. And I want to see first which color blue, blue on top, add level again, employee ID, cell color blue, brown, right? And then I want to see yellow, cell color, and that should be yellow. For rest of the class, I'm least bothered. No, my requirement is this only. Rest, let it be anything. 
But first, blue, brown, yellow. Hit okay. Can you see blue, brown, yellow? And earlier our data was like this. Can you see? Can you do the comparison now? Earlier we were on top on red, yellow, and blue. Now we are on top, blue, brown. This is previous. This is before after. This is before. This is after. As per our equation, is it clear? Yeah. Clear. Not only this. With the help of right click also, we can do the same thing. Now, same thing I want to apply here. This time, red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, I want to apply here. Right click here, sort. If you put it here, put selected cell color on top. Put selected font color on top. Font color, cell color, formatting. I'll go with this custom sort. Custom sorting. Again, I'll delete. These levels employ ID. First, I want to see which color red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue. Cell color red. Okay. And level red, yellow, add level. Red, yellow, and blue. Right? Red, yellow, and blue. Hit okay. See. This. I want to see whatever red font is there. Red font. Can you see the red font? I want to sort those. That should be first. I can select any of the cell wherever I have the red font. Red font is here, 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 right? I'll select any of the name. Wherever I have a red font. Right click, sorting. Put selected font color. Selected font color. Selected cell font color. What is selected cell font color? Red. Can you see all red has come on top? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Do you know uh, the filter option? Shortcuts we'll discuss later. Simply I'm asking what is the uh, filter option? Filter options into data. Filter nothing but if I want to filter some data. Right. In a lambda language, like you know, uh, if if you are filtering some students, in the class, or the toppers, right? How you are filtering those students based on your marks? Yes or no? Yes. When you are filtering, okay, this guy, I I know that mark. Okay, this guy has uh, received ninety eight marks. This guy ninety five. This guy ninety three. This guy ninety. I'll just uh, filter the data. I filter the students and the leader. I, I know that marks. Then I can maybe I can suggest some plans for them, right? Same thing in Excel also. I want to filter the data. I can go into data and click on filter. I'm saying shortcuts and everything we'll discuss later. Then we'll start the session, actual session. Okay. Filter. I want to filter. I just want to see uh, total managers. How many managers are there? What I'll do, I'll go to designation. I'll filter on manager. Yeah, filter on manager. Now, next next requirement, no, I also want to include tester. Then again, I'll go there and again, I'll filter with tester. No manager tester. Yeah. Now, I want to filter with manager. And I want to so I want to see whosoever is getting basic salary more than twenty thousand in manager who is getting salary more than twenty thousand. For that, I'll go to basic salary. In this case, I only have four rows directly. Maybe I can go there. I can choose like this. But don't follow this practice. Choosing from here. Here only I have four rows. What if, if you have 100 rows, then it's not feasible, right? Instead of that, you have to go here, number filters, greater than 20,000. Greater than 20,000, right? Hit OK. How many managers they are getting? Basic salary more than 20K? Two. Two, OK. 
Two. I want to see tester, my requirement tester, and that should be greater than 12,000. I'll go here. Again, I'll go there. Greater than 12,000. Greater than 12,000. One line is there. Yeah. Now I want the same result in one shot for manager as well as for tester. I showed you first for the manager filter, then I showed you result for the tester. Yes or no? Can we see the results for both the designations tester and the managers? Wherein manager salary should be greater than 20,000. That's the basic service should be greater than 12,000. That is my requirement. Now you tell me how can I do that? Apply your logic or process. You tell me, I'll do it on the screen. Whatever you know, just tell me. You can practice. It's not like that. If you don't know, Still, you can give it a try. That's also fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, anything. If you're telling wrong, also fine. That is also fine. Okay, I'll accept it. So that's what we are here, right, to learn. At least we can give some ideas how it should be, how it will be working. But you got the question, right? Yes or no? What is my question? I want to filter on manager and tester. Wherein the manager salary should be greater than 20 and tester salary greater than 12. That is my question. Only participants also. Sorry for asking. Okay, so someone is saying, sorry. Okay, then. so manager and tester done, then? Greater than 20,000, greater than 20,000. Okay, I will say greater than 20,000. Done, right, okay. Done, where is the tester? Here. Which option? This one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're, oh, you're just trying here. Huh. That's what I used. Better than only. And, and function custom filter. Custom filter. Okay, then. Equals twenty. Uh, sorry. And equals. I'm looking for greater than. No equals. Sorry. This one. That yes. is different. That's not possible. Okay, I'll show you. We applied our thought process on this. Basic and advanced, two things we have, right? Basic, you know, we are here to advance, to learn advanced filter. Right? So we, learn, we will learn advanced filter. Which filter? This is basic, this is advanced. Yeah, this is, this, this is advanced. What I'll do, I will click advanced. List range, this is my list range. Okay, this is my list range. Criteria range, what is your criteria? My criteria is this. 
Yes or no? It okay. So we done. Two lines for managers. One line for test. Okay, not okay. Okay. There are so many things which we need to learn as part of advanced Excel, not as part of advanced filter. Not only advanced filter, as part of advanced Excel. So many things are. And I can bet you guys, if there are working professionals also in this group, after five days, you guys will tell me that, sir, we don't know these basics also. I'll tell you. So my, take my words, I'll tell you. I'll ask the same question after five days. I'll ask the same question. Do you, are you aware about this? You guys will tell me also we don't. I'm talking about working professionals, okay? Not about the officials. You guys will tell me for sure. Take my words. Okay. Next. Next is here. Can you tell me how many unique designations are there? Because manager repeating, repeating, manager is repeating, right? I want to see the unique designations. Can I see from here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, rest are 9. How many? 9. The total rows are 17. Why 17? Because designations are, they are repeating. They are repeating. I want to see just a unique. Unique will be 9 only. Unique will be Nine only. That I want to know. Let's assume there are a list of students and we are maintaining a data set. In the data set, students of 10th class, how many subjects? Six subjects. And I have 100 students. 100 multiplied by 6, or I would say subject. Subject will be in drop down option. With one student, how many subjects will be there? Six only, right? So unique records of subject is six only, correct? Yes or no? So that nine records I want to see as a unique record. That is also possible based on advanced filter. List range. This is my list range this time. In this list, in this list, there is no criteria. I'll remove the criteria. In this list, show me the Unique records. Wait, okay. Can you see? Nine. Yeah. These nine designations, I want to copy somewhere else in this sheet, other sheet. Okay. Within this sheet, I want to copy this unique records. That is also possible. I can go there advanced level. Okay. My list range is this. Sorry, this. Copy to another location. Copy to another location. And I will copy that to column, let's say, W. Okay? Column W. Done. This is done. Copy to another location. Done. Unique records. Hit OK. Now go to column W. It's done. Job is done. Yes. Filtering option I showed you from here. You can also show, you can also filter the data from here. Let's say I want to filter on manager. Go to any of the manager, right click here, filter on selected cell value. Can you see the manager? I want to filter on testers. Instead of going there, applying tester. Instead of going here, you can simply go to tester, right click, any of the tester, not only this, tester I one, two, three. I will right click on here, filter. 
selected cell value. What is the value there? Tested only, right? Choose it. Done. Not only this, I can go with the right click option with the filtering on based on colors as well. What is the cell color here? I want to filter wherever I have a blue color filter. Selected cell color. Done. Not only this, I can also filter with the font color. What is the font color here? Right click, filter, selected, filter, font color. Can you see this option? Red font color. Only red font color. Don't get confused. It's yellow, it's blue. That is our cell color. But font color is blue. If I will put my cursor here on this cell, and if I want to filter with font color, how many lines will be appearing? Filtering with font color. I'm repeating myself. Filtering with font color. If one I do this, how many lines will be appearing? One. Because green is showing only one. Can you see? Any questions? Okay, a few people, they are entering data like this. Uh, you need to enter data from one to 100 numbers. How will you write the numbers? 100, yeah. One, number two, number three, like this. Drag, somebody is saying dragging, okay. I will just select it and drag it. That's what you want, right? I'll drag it. Okay. Up to 100 number, I can drag it. Okay, done. How much time it took? Seconds? Five, 10 seconds? Yes or no? Your boss is asking, uh, just give me the list of 1 to 10,000 numbers. 1 to 10,000. What will you do? Drag again? Again? You drag it down? Yes or no? Tell me again. Yes? I'll drag it down. And I can wait until 10,000 comes and I can take a sip of tea or coffee. Is it? Can talk. It's good. My work is getting done. You can talk. Yeah. Will it take some time? That pop up is basically, yeah, that also I'll show you. This is the one way. Second way I'm doing is people they are writing like this one equal to this plus one, two. Now, Instead of selecting these two, I'll select only one and I'll go down. Same thing. But this is also dragging, right? Which will also take some time. Simply write number one here. My job is done. That took five seconds. I'll show you that it's less than five seconds, right? 10,000? Yes or no? That is called advanced Excel. This is basic. Column A, B are in basic. Here sir, it is. Sir, can you show it again? Yes, yes, sure. A, B is basic, B is advanced. It's nothing but like I'll write one number one here. Okay, then I'll go to this option. Can you see this option? This option is available in home tab, and then I'll go to series option. And I want to have a single column, column selected, step value one, stop value 10,000. Let's get 10, let's get 20. Within second. I know that shortcut key, that's what I applied over T, I, S, and T. I'll write one, I'll go to that keyboard, E, I, S, I, S, columns. I will show one lakh this time. How many total rows we have? 2000, after 2007, 2007 uh, version of it. 
10 lakhs 48,000 change, 576 crores we have. If you'll write one lakh number now, how is the time to take the planning option? Tell me. I think easily you can take your lunch then. Yes, sir. Not only the lunch you can take, right? Let it be drag it down. I can have lunch with my another another hand. Yes. So that's it for demo classes. Uh, any questions for me? Regarding registration part and everything, you can get in touch with front office team. Okay. I hope everyone is aware about front office team number. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry, someone said something? Yes, we are aware of you. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, you are. Me. Yeah, I'm working professional, so whenever I am getting any kind of scenarios, I'm working on that thing. But if you can give me 22 days after that, every day if you're practicing, after that, if you're practicing my condition, TNC applied. If you are practicing it, whatever content I'm showing on my screen, whatever I'll be showing in next 20 or 22 days. The class can be finished in 20 days or 22 days, max to max. Monday to Sunday class will be there, 7.30 to 9.00 time will be there. No weekends classes. If you're okay on weekends also, we can continue. <laughs> okay. So, after the training, every day if you are watching the video, practicing it, whatever content is there, I can bet you for sure. You can easily crack the interview. I will take the guarantee. Whatever assessment I'll give you to you, if you can crack that assessment, 100% you can crack the internet. In your technical skills, I'm not sure about your communication skills. On that part, I'm not sure. But technical skills, Excel knowledge-wise, I can take the guarantee. So it's not like that. I will give you 100% job guarantee. I'll give you some pills. Take it, will you pass? Okay, so go, will you pass? Go, take this pill. No, you can't. Right? Correct. No practice. No practice. You're talking to the game. Sorry? Tableau also, we are uh, providing training. Tableau is also Power BI also there. Nowadays, Power BI is also there, right? Power BI, Tableau. Mostly people that are preferring uh, Power BI itself. But Tableau also we have, Power BI also we have. Who is aiming for data analytics? My, my recommendation, go go Power Pack. In Power Pack first we will finish advanced Excel, basic to advanced. Basic to advanced Excel, then SQL and then Power BI. Here, yeah. any questions for me, online participants and offline? Uh, these uh, materials you'll be sending to us, or uh, how is it, sir? I'm sorry, can you please come again? Uh, the, the materials, uh, I mean, the subject data, I think, they will be sending to us via email or something? Yes, yes. So, whatever data I'm going to show on my screen or whatever I showed today. And whatever data I have tab wise, everything will be shared with you guys through your G drive access. You should have a Gmail address. There we will be sharing those files we'll, and then you can download from there. Everything will be shown. Whatever I have in this folder, this is my folder. And by the way, I forgot to mention one thing here. Let me show you that as well. Excel projects. Profit analysis. By end of 22 days, 20 days classes, we will be having two live projects, right? We will be reaching to this level. You guys will be able to create dashboard like this. If I want to see profit for 2010, can you see the number 14? I want to see 2009 profit. For 2010, where I have the least profit, which region has the least profit? West region. 
which is the, which producer has the least profit furniture which segment has the least profit this one nothing but your small business profit by product sub category i can say here in the month of sorry for the year 2010 which month has the least profit which month march right march after completing this session you will reach to this level in advanced excel you can easily apply your pivot tables your slicers your charts graphs if i want to say 2010 i want to see profit for uh, this Six months, first six months you can see. Two thousand ten, first six months profit. Can you see one, two, three, four, five, six? Six months also this profit is to March only. Returns. Second project will be this one. That also will show you it to you. We will also practice on it. You might have seen in your office management team they are having uh, appraisals, everyone, right? So if I change the person name, Daniel Cooper, can you see the picture also it got changed? Picture also getting changed. If I'm changing the name, picture also getting changed. Can you see? And this is KPI also getting changed. If I am just want to see the last six months data, last six months data, but nothing but March, Feb, Jan. December, November, and October. Can you see last six months data? October to what if I make it to Feb? Then it will be September to Feb, right? Can you see? Everything we'll discuss. That's it for today. Which one? Internet. No, no. Once you download these files to your local drive, you know, D drive, D drive. Save the file there. But how you will listen my videos? For that, you need internet connection. Well, you can just watch my video and then you can practice on your laptop. So it's fine. But mobile wise, uh, I don't prefer mobile because it's going to be very less right. But okay with it? Yeah, you can go it. Yeah. Okay, that's it, guys. From my side, please. Uh, in case of any further questions, please reach out to front office team regarding registrations. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, and thanks for your time. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Bye.